Hello, everyone. I am Shannon Tiezzi, Editor-in-Chief at The Diplomat. And once again, I am sitting down today with Bruno Masai, who's the Director of Diplomat Risk Intelligence. Um, and he's going to be talking with us about DRI's latest research note, which focused on China's two sessions. Now, Bruno, the National People's Congress session was especially important this year because we're finishing off the leadership transition that began last year at the Chinese Communist Party Congress. So what personnel changes did we see taking place at the NPC? Hi, Shannon. Um, more centralization in party organs away from the government. I think we expected that. But some technocrats have survived the personal changes. Um, it's not uh, an ideological neo-Maoist China, as some commentators uh, warned or fear a while back. We have now a, a kind of a triumvirate between the new premier and two very important names that came out really strengthened out of the two sessions, He Lifeng, Ding Xuexiang. Uh, they are going to be what we would call uh, economics and technology czars. Uh, in the new administration. And this was the focus of the two sessions, uh, technology, technological self-assertion, economic reform. So we're going to see actually the new premier uh, being less important than perhaps we thought, both because he's dependent on Qi, but he has two other names uh, to divide power within the state council. Mm -hmm. So did we get any signals on what we can expect from China's future direction on economics and technology development? We did. Uh, we saw that even in the list of delegates. And uh, delegates this time around came a lot from the technology sector. And within the technology sector came a lot from semiconductors, industrial strength, more, for example, than the internet economy, uh, than the data economy. So there's a transition there that is symbolized. Uh, a lot of what happened in the two sessions are about symbols. It's about who's there, who gets attention, and uh, clearly is a new China. Focus on foreign policy. We knew that. Um, real strong speech from the new foreign minister is trying to affirm himself. Uh, and foreign policy, technology, the two leading lines coming out of it. Okay, thank you very much, Bruno. There's plenty more information in the research notes, so click the link below this video to access that. And be sure to subscribe to DRI for more research notes on the main happenings in the Asia Pacific.